Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? We are back with another video, and today, as y'all see on the screen, we are going to be talking about Terry Rozier admits he was willing to make a big sacrifice in order for the Miami Heat to win. But before we do start today's video, if you guys are a diehard Miami Heat fan and want to stay updated to all Miami Heat content, this is the perfect channel for y'all. Smash the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a like, and comment down. And also, guys, I do have a Miami Heat Discord server. The link will be in the description if you want to join that. And also, I will be introducing my new Twitter. That's all Miami Heat content and TikTok. They also will be in the link in the description. I appreciate you guys so much and all the support. And let's continue grinding. So, we all know Tay Rozier was a star. Um, in Charlotte, he got traded to the Miami Heat and he had to sacrifice a row, right? In Charlotte, he was going to get 50 million shots. He was going to get the 40 point games, a game winner, have the ball in his hands and stuff like that. But when you come to the Miami Heat team that already has a Tyler Hero, that already has a Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, you have to sacrifice. And these are the type of players that we want on the Miami Heat if you want to win a championship. So in this article, it pretty much says, Miami's guard Terry Rozier revealed that he's willing to adjust his game order to help the Heat win this season, right? Um, and then obviously, man, Heat culture, there's nothing like it. I think everybody can agree to that. Like, literally, nothing is matching the Heat culture at all. No team. No team. We already had Mike Brown say, like, there's just, you have to create your own culture. Heat culture is totally different. But in quotations, it says, just understanding going from losing to winning man Rosier said, when asked, the biggest challenge has been adjusting to life with the Heat. Whatever you got to do to get over the hump to win, I'm all for it. I don't care if I got to play in the dunker every night. If I got to set screens, I'm all about winning. I think that's what, I think that's why they brought me here. It said, Heat fans have been excited that Rosier has bought into the team's culture after Miami Heat acquired him in a trade with the Hornets prior to the season's trade. Now, like I said, I pretty much said it. They're kind of explaining it. After averaging over 20 points per game in the last three to four seasons in Charlotte, um, he has not found the same offensive success during his short time in Miami. Wasn't worried about that at all. Um, he's averaging 13.2 points a game, 4.5 rebounds, and 5.5 assists, while shooting 37% from the field and 25% from the three-point line with the Miami Heat. Now, yes, are those numbers a little bit concerning? A little bit, but not really, because you got to realize, right? Terry Rozier, just yesterday, probably had one of his best games. Like, um, let me show you the stats of uh, Terry Rozier, right? Um, well, not yesterday. Well, yeah, against the Trailblazers, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you see the numbers right here. He had 19 points, 7 for 14, 2 for 4 at the three-point line, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks in 30 minutes. He's getting comfortable to his position. Dude, there was a point in time where he just had his first practice not too long ago. He hasn't even moved into his apartment in his house yet in Miami. It's adjustment time. We got 20-plus games for him to figure it out, and we'll be perfectly fine, right? And um, also say he's coming off injury. You know, he missed a couple of these games. I'm glad he's back. Um, different lineups, different rotations, different players that he doesn't have chemistry with. He'll be fine. But I'm just glad that he's sacrificing and he do whatever it takes to win a championship. And that's all that matters to me. And I'm glad that Terry Rozier is on this team. And I honestly think he'll be on this team for a little bit longer after this season. So Heat Nation, we got a good guy. Let us know in the comment sections. What do you guys think about Terry Rozier? And once again, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe, notifications on, comment and all that good stuff. And make sure you follow my Twitter, my TikTok, and join my Discord down below. We're going to continue to build this Heat culture up. And I love you guys so much once again, and I'm out of here. Peace.